I'm ready. Hello everyone, my name is Sage Gray and welcome to this video. So, this is going to be my first ever cash stuffing. Super excited. So, this is actually going to be for three paychecks. So, I made this on a Google Sheets and it breaks down everything. So, these are my savings, these are my cash envelopes, and then these are my sinking funds. So, um, if you watched my previous video, you'll know that my savings and my cash envelopes are getting a certain amount each week because I am prioritizing that while I can because I'm 22. Um, I'm a receptionist and I'm still living with my parents so I don't have to worry about rent or utilities um, or groceries or anything like that. So uh, it's good to save up a lot now while I can and hopefully continue that uh, when I get my first place, uh, which is my current savings goal. So there's this. And then here's the cash breakdown that I made. So. Let's get into counting the money. As you can see, um, this should equal $1,309. So I should have five one hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six fifties. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-one twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. One ten. Ten fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 29 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. So there's that. I don't think I mentioned this before, but I do get paid on Fridays. And so my plan is to basically have my week go from Tuesday to uh, Monday because I work Tuesday through Saturday and so Sunday and Monday are like my weekends uh, that is also because on Fridays it's after work and I still have another day of work so I thought it'd be easier um, to film on like a Monday and that way I can go to the bank and get the right denominations so I will put this to the side and if you haven't watched my previous video, then I suggest you go check it out. I basically kind of go through all of my binders and everything, but as you um, can tell, or maybe you can't, that I switched some up. So I will be doing that and going over that. Firstly, uh, this is my cash envelopes. So I have some coins in here. Okay. And I'm going to actually be putting them in here. So let me see. Because I forgot I had these and I'm like, this is super adorable. And I have like five others, so that will be awesome. So basically what I'm going to do is I have my cash envelopes and I know a lot of people um, each week they use that rollover and then they put it into uh, different sinking funds or savings or going to their debt. What I'm going to do is roll over the money in each envelope until the end of the month. And then at the end of the month when I have extra money, I'm going to roll that over into my uh, sinking funds or savings. 
I have been budgeting for a while now. I haven't used the cash system before, but um, it's really fun. And so I first created uh, my first budget when I was 13 years old. So I've been doing this for like nine years now. So that system is what works best for me. I know when people think, oh, I have this money, I'm gonna spend it all. And that might not work best for them, but that's how I'm gonna do it. So getting right into it. You saw this binder in my previous video. It is from the Etsy shop Nomi Lux Collections. And it is an A5 checkered binder. It is pink on the inside. It is absolutely beautiful. And I will link all of the Etsy shops down below. I am also going to link the ones to go specifically to the items I use today. Um, I recently looked this up and I think she took it off her Etsy shop, but she still has some um, awesome things on there regardless of this. So you should go check that out. And I did not show you guys this in my previous video because I did not have them on me, but it came with this. So you can track your envelopes and everything. And it came with these two cute stickers. So a pineapple with some sunglasses and a scrunchie. So, I always think it's so amazing, like, when I get freebies, I never expect them, and I'm always pleasantly surprised, so that is really great. Now, I did arrange some stuff, as I mentioned, I got some new cash envelopes. So, these are absolutely gorgeous, and they are from the Etsy shop Budget with Trisha. I will link her Etsy shop down below. Um, I recently looked at it, and uh, she said she's taking a quick break or a short break so she'll either be back she said late november early december so i recommend you go check her out when that happens and i love how it just kind of changes purpley blue to white and the different angles of light so that is super exciting along with the package we have these two cute little uh notepad papers uh super super adorable i don't know what i'm gonna do with those but i will definitely find a purpose and it came with this cute tricera i think this is triceratops and this also this other cute sticker so super amazing so we are gonna start off with my f money which is my six months of rent utilities groceries gas for my car etc etc so i have 12,000 in here now, and I'm going to be adding 150. So I'm going to get a 100 and a 50. And that's going to be 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 150. And I do have specific savings goals for each of these um, categories in here. Each of these actually have their own bank account, savings account at my bank. So that is what the fake money is representing of the money I already have in there. And if you want to see um, what my money goals are and when to reach them by for each of these categories, I recommend you go check out my previous video. I'll link it up in the cards. So next up is my Vroom Vroom category. And this is for um, being able to buy a car. Um, my car is paid in full and my mom uh, told me about this idea. It's like, why don't you save a certain amount of money each month? And so when you have to buy, um, you have to get another car, then you already have the money saved. And I thought that was a really great idea. So this will be getting $240. So that is going to be two 100s and two 20s. And then I think at the end of the month... I'm going to uh, cash exchange and put like the real money back into my bank and then kind of do some condensing around with this fake money that I have, which I will also link in the description box. It's from Amazon. So that means I should have $1,185 in here. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100. 20, 40, 60, 85, 1,185 dollars. So I will 
go over how I'm going to do the exchanging the real money for fake money and adding the real money back into the savings account in just one moment. My oldest mold is my retirement. And this will be getting $225. So we'll be getting the last two 100s I have. A 20 and a 5. Okay. So now this should have $1,085. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 50, 70, 85. $1,085. Also, you will see more of these envelopes in just one second because I also got them for my cash envelopes. That's what I'm using those for. So, rolling in dough. This is going to be for emergencies. So if I accidentally, you know... If I get into a car crash or just something unexpected happens, I have this money. I want it to be separate from the six months of rent and utilities, just because, I guess. Um, so that's going to be getting 90. So that's going to be getting a 50 and two 20s. And so in total, we should have $390, 100, 200, 300, 50, 70, and 90. 390. And I forgot to mention, if you haven't noticed that my cash envelopes are actually facing the opposite way of basically every other uh, budgeter's cash envelopes because I wanted them to be facing this way and so when I reached out to uh, budget with Trisha um, and asked her like hey I wondered if you could print this this way I had some few more questions about it I was like would you like be okay printing curse words and everything she was very quick to respond and uh, it was just great customer service. So yes, super excited about that. And this one is prisoners safe and secured. So this is basically if I make an online purchase or use my credit card, which I usually just use for like my credit card for gas, I am putting that money right in here. And then that's why uh, this will be going to the bank because I have these cash envelopes. So these have flowers in them as you can tell and these are from the Etsy shop Pixie Lax Planning so I will link uh, her Etsy shop down below and I actually got these or actually like the oops ones so there might be like a bubble or two a cat hair or so just something not completely perfect but I still think that they're absolutely gorgeous and so along with that she also had some freebies so she has this, which is super cute. It's a thank you card. And it came out with this, which is like a cash totals one, which you can take to the bank to get the correct denominations. And then it came with this, a $1,000 savings challenge. And I love how it says my why. And then on the reverse side, you can make up your own savings challenge. So I think that is really awesome. So also pleasantly surprised about that. So basically I have four of these because of these four categories. So I put $150 in here. So in my video that will be coming out at the end of the month, I'll put the $150 real $150 of real money, put it in here. And then I will know that this is my F money and that is $150 going to that specific account. And I will replace it with the fake money. So that will be coming out at the end of the month. Moving on, I have my cash envelopes. And here are some more beautiful, beautifuls. So Feed Me Seymour is gas for my car. My car's name is Jenkins. And this will be getting $156 because, because I budgeted $52 a week. So this is getting three fifties and then six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Okay. And I usually originally, as you can saw, I was doing uh, two twenties to 10 and um, two ones, 
but I was like, hey, I'm actually going to be using my card for this. So when I just put the money away and take it back to the bank, it's better to have less bills, I guess. So there's that. And I don't carry all of this money around with me. I just have this with me. And then if I need certain money, like I'll just take out like that much. Like usually, as I said, it takes, or maybe I didn't say, but it takes $50 to fill up my gas. So I'll just bring like a $52 with me. So... I'm not being walking around with all this money because gosh, you know. Anyway, so this should equal $210 now. So 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. And as I said, the money I'm stuffing, this is from three paychecks. I get paid every single Friday because this will tie me over to uh, the next time I get paid because I, um, which will be December 3rd because um, we're not going to be working the day after Thanksgiving so I won't have that money. So this is my home money which is my spending money and this is going to be getting $180. So one, two. Okay, and I actually already spent a little bit of this already. Um, I already had the cash with me, so I automatically put it in prisoner safe and secured, so I can take that to the bank. So usually uh, this would be getting seventy-five dollars a week, but right now I'm gonna put one hundred and eighty. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, and then tips for door, which is uh, tips, which are if I get my nails done, my hair done, if I go out to eat, something other other like that. What I plan to do on this one, I think, is to keep a certain amount of money in here and then add the additional $10 that I'm going to do because... I always want to make sure I have enough tip money because if I go out to like a fancy restaurant or something and I order a lot of food during like the first week, I only have $10 in here and that's not how I want to roll. So this is going to be getting four fives and then 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And working at my job as a receptionist, um, I have seen that cash tips are highly encouraged. So this now should have $43. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay. And I do get paid every Friday, but I do not plan on making hash stuffing every single week because starting this off, that would be a lot for me. So this one is three weeks. I'll probably try to do one, usually my cash stuffings for like two weeks or so. So that is how that's going to work. And for this is for my subscriptions. So I am going to be adding 18. So that's going to be the only 10, the five and three ones. Two and three. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I only have three subscriptions. I have iCloud Storage from Apple, the Apple Music, and the uh, Sticky Club, which is a sticker subscription. And so that equals, I think, like $23.98. So I rounded up to 24, and that's awesome because then 24 divided by 4 is six so i have this leftover money and i am going to be stuffing my uh, sinking funds but i feel like this video is going to be a little too long so in my next video i'm going to be um stuffing my sinking funds stuffing my very first savings challenge and going over my uh december savings challenge so 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.